Hi, hi, my loves, and happy Friday. Man, it has been a crazy week, so I thought I'd actually hop on live and ask you the weekend recap questions, but I'm kind of somewhere fun. I went to the marina by my house this morning. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Um, but basically, it's like a boat launch area, and it's just so beautiful. If you can get outside today or this weekend, I really recommend you take the time to get outside. I think there is something powerful about being in nature for kids, but just for adults too. Um, there's just something healing about it. So I hope you make time to whatever it is. Like the beauty is we can find like nature and calm and peace wherever we live, whether we live in like the thick of the city or the countryside, right? We can find air, we can find grass to stick our toes in. And if you're joining me live, hey, hey, happy Friday. If you're watching the recap, like I wanna know what your favorite natural, what's your favorite way to connect with nature where you live? And bonus points if you put a picture. Because I think it's so important that we know that, we get clear on it. My son actually was having a, um, just like a really hard day yesterday and kind of having like a breakdown and like in one of those moments where like, I mean, I think we do this as adults too, we're like, we're not quite thinking straight. <laughs> and so I could tell he was like in that part of his brain where he was just like struggling. And so nothing was really working. I tried giving him some food and water because maybe he was hangry and I ended up sticking him in the bathtub because I feel like for me, when I'm just not doing well and I'm not in a clear mental state, water really helps snap me out of it. And I find for my kids that's true too. And so give yourself a break. If you're really struggling, like stick yourself in a bathtub of water. Like I know it sounds so crazy, but I think there is something literally that changes our brain state when we get into water, get outdoors and feel the wind, put our feet in the grass. Like I really think there is something special about that. So <laughs> if you need that permission to take care of yourself, here's that permission my loves but anyway that's not what I'm here to talk to you about I'm here to talk to you about the weekend recap so you know on Fridays I always ask you three powerful questions for your weekend but I'm gonna tell you a secret okay those questions are actually less about your weekend and more about next week I used to hear a lot of people say like okay on Sunday you have to like do all this stuff to like get your week planned right and what I found for me is I'm exhausted on Sundays like I don't know why, but it's almost like sometimes when you need a vacation after a vacation, right? And after I do the whole weekend of doing like lunch prep and cleaning and laundry and like all the like weekend stuff, right? I'm exhausted <laughs> and I am not in a good mental space to plan my week on Sundays. So what I have found in the last probably two to three months that has been so powerful and so effective is actually being intentional and resetting on Fridays, right? Which sounds crazy, but when I ask myself these three questions on Fridays, it almost sets my weekend up for success, which sets my next week up for success. <laughs> and I find I have a little more brain space because on Fridays, I feel like we kind of have this like pep in our step of like, you know, maybe not this week because it's been an intense week, but generally on Fridays for me, I like have energy. And so what I want you to encourage you to do is today on Friday to get ready for next week, to set yourself up for success next week today. And so I'm going to ask you the three questions I always ask you, and I would love for you to um, answer them for me. But again, if you're joining me live, please say, hey, hey, I would love to know where you're tuning in from. Um, so let's do the three questions and honestly, this takes about five minutes or once you've done it for a few weeks, it's even faster, but I found that it makes a big shift in my mindset and how I approach the week and honestly how I feel on Monday and all of next week. Okay. So let's do that this right now. Will you do this with me? So number one is picking something from the week that you did that you are proud of that you want to celebrate no matter how wonky the week was, no matter how beautiful the week was, I think there is something in our brain, right? Our brain wants to like tell us like all the things we suck at, right? And all the things that we're doing wrong. Hi, hi, Emily. So good to see you. Happy Friday, my love. But I think there's something powerful when we put a stake in the ground and we say, no, here's something that I rocked at, right? I put on mascara every day this week and I'm so proud of that, whatever it is, right? I, you know, went on Facebook Live and I invited people to my offer, right? Whatever it is, just really owning that and being like, you know what, I'm proud of that because it sounds counterintuitive, but really when we own our wins, we see more wins and it's easier from that place of confidence and success to win more. And so I want you, go ahead in the comments below to tell me one thing from the week that you're celebrating, that you're proud of, um, that you just want to give yourself credit for and it sounds crazy right even if you're like well I don't feel super successful or it wasn't a perfect week you'll find more momentum comes from that than beating yourself up like we know that every time right okay so that's number one is something that you're celebrating from the week something that you're proud of okay number two is I want you this one's so important I want you to think about someone that made a difference in your week 
and I want you to tell them. Number one, because it's gonna make a difference for them, but I have this great video, I'll post a link after I head home, about, it's from The Happiness Project. You follow them on YouTube, they're amazing. And they actually did research that shows when we express gratitude, literally our brain chemistry changes and literally we become happier when we express gratitude. It's a crazy video, I'll, I'll post the link to you. But what I want you to do is literally take a minute to ask yourself, who's someone in my week that made a difference? And I want you to literally thank them. This can be one of two ways. Usually for me, it's like a text message. Like don't ever complicate it. Maybe it's your partner, right? Maybe it's one of your best friends, right? T but just literally take a minute to text them and intentionally say, hey, when you did that this week, when you said this that this week, it really made a difference for me, thank you. And it's such a small gesture, but whenever I do this, like it always ends up in like a cry fest <laughs> because I think we forget to like stop and express gratitude, you guys. It sounds crazy and so simple, but so often we forget to do that. And so do that simple gesture. Okay, so that's like if you wanna do that with like a friend or a family member. And if someone comes to mind, like let me know in the comments who you feel a tug on your heart to say thank you to. So that's number two. You could also do this with like a stranger, right? And so let's say there's like an influencer you follow or someone online and something in their content or in something that they said really impacted you, go ahead and tell them, right? It sounds, it feels like, oh, people say, you know, get that all the time. If when someone responds to one of my emails, and says, Anna, this made a difference for me. Like I cry almost every time, right? Like think about how that makes you feel when someone intentionally reaches out to you and says, and there was a few women too in my, um, in one of my programs that said that this week, like someone messaged me and said like my content made a difference for them and that like really stood out to them, right? And so never underestimate the power of telling people with your words, hey, that made a difference to me. So anyway, that's number two for you and for them. Take a, a minute for gratitude or less. Send a text message, send a little gif, right? If you have a team, if you have a, an assistant, tell them that, tell them thank you for supporting me in my business. Okay, that's number two. What's number three? Number three is a self-care action. So getting really clear on something that you wanna do this weekend to take care of yourself. Something small, right? Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a bath, right? Maybe it's, you wanna go get your nails done if you can do that in your county right now, I don't know. <laughs> But getting clear on one specific thing, but here's the thing, if you don't plan it, it's not gonna happen. So you've gotta get clear on what it is. So what I want you to do is let me know in the comments below, one, two, three, what you're doing. Because number one, it's been an intense week. Number two, for the challenge next week, as I'm having you take sales actions, I want you to restore yourself so you can sell from a place of abundance, right? So you can sell from a place of peace. So you can sell from this place of being lit up and ready to show up and ready to sell. Like that's the sort of magnetic energy, right? When you've been on, usually when people tell me like they've been a part of a sales situation and it's been spammy, it's usually because that person is not in abundance, right? They're in scarcity, they're not doing well, they're not taking care of themselves, like it's a whole issue. And so even though this feels unbusiness related, I'm telling you, if you're joining me in the free challenge next week, which by the way, if you haven't signed up yet, it's not too late to join, you can join, I'll drop the link, but it's annafrenz.com slash sell with your cell. I'm gonna be going live every day next week at noon PST and giving you some sales actions. And I want you to actually treat this like a mini course. Like I want you to actually show up and do these actions with me. Um, okay, let me see what you said. Oh, Emily, I love that Emily said, I will be thanking my son's new daycare provider. She's been a rock star during his first week at her center. I'll also be thanking you for interviewing my new podcast. Yes, I can't wait. Emily, I get to go I, in just really soon here too. In about two hours, I get to interview on Emily's podcast. Emily, drop the link to your podcast too so that if people want to subscribe, they can do that because I'm gonna be on Emily's show here, I'm sure in the coming weeks or months or whenever it airs. So, so excited for that, Emily. And yes, like it sounds crazy, but when you say thank you in that intentional way to your daycare provider, right? I'm sure it's gonna like make her whole week. <laughs> and I think there's just something powerful that happens when we exchange that gratitude, right? Something so, so powerful. Okay, so those are the three things. You're gonna let me know the three things and then when you guys join me in the free challenge next week, you're gonna find that you're in a different mental state coming in, right? Um, coming into that. Okay, so I'm gonna recap the questions one more time but I want you to literally tell me your answers below, okay? Number one, if someone wants to write these questions for me, that would be helpful too. Number one, What's one win you're celebrating? Number two, who's someone you wanna thank? And I wish, actually want you to like literally go thank them too, right? Send that text message. Bonus points if you like share the screenshot. I usually try to do that, share you with you guys the screenshot of who I thanked. And then finally, planning one self-care action. Again, it can be something simple like this. 
getting outside, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive, but just something you can do to nurture your heart, nurture your soul. Um, again, so that you can then, you know, bring energy to your business, <laughs> bring energy to your family, right? Um, and I think that's really an important part of the sales conversation because next week we're going to be doing a lot of, um, you guys know I love doing mindset work, but I love doing strategy too. Next week is going to be a lot of strategy, right? You're going to be taking a lot of actual sales action because that's how I know how to help you make money and make sales is by actually helping you do the things to sell, <laughs> right? <laughs> so be prepared. I'm going to challenge you, right? Um, but it's going to be stuff that works and is powerful and so I'm excited to help you do it but it's gonna be so much easier if you come into the week like feeling ready to go feeling charged and you are going to do that if you do these three little mindset things first right oh thank you Emily yes Emily Wright that wrote them down um, so if you've never done this Friday recap with me you can read the three questions that Emily wrote um, but answer them below do them again the first time you do it it may take a little longer but right now when I do it on Fridays it takes me like maybe three minutes, like like literally I'm like bam, bam, bam. And I think that's the thing about mindset work, right? We tell ourselves, especially when we're busy or stressed or overwhelmed or desperate for sales, like I don't have time for mindset work because it's gonna take so long. Mindset work actually doesn't even take that long, right? But the best mindset work helps you shift. And I promise you, if you do these three questions, tell me how you feel after because there is no way that you can feel bad or crappy after celebrating yourself, after thanking someone with intention, after planning something for self. Like there's no way that you're not going to start shifting literally how you feel on the inside, right? And that's our job. It's our job as a CEO of our business to feel good and to sell from that place of integrity, right? Okay. Now I'm just ranting. I've got to go. Emily, I will see you in just a minute. Don't forget to pop your um, podcast link so people can subscribe and follow along. Drop for me your three things. And also, yes, for the challenge next week, make sure that you get the registration email because we've been having some tech glitches. And so if you register for the challenge, but you didn't get the like, welcome, you're signed up for the challenge email, let me know or email support at annafranson.com and we can make sure you're officially registered. But I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped to support you in some beautiful sales actions next week. Okay. Happy Friday, my loves, and take care of yourself.